Hey everybody, PJ. Just out here messing around. Got that switch going and stuff yesterday. Messing around today. I just got going through my band set. I just wanted to show my noise floor on this DX10. I don't have anything selected, which this one's got the IPO off. I'll turn it on. On the higher bands, I usually run it on that. But, uh, I'm just going to go through them and just watch the music. This is my noise floor. I put a uh, choke balance at the antenna side of my NFED half wave. It's a MFJ 1982 high power version. Uh, I also have the uh, coax end of the uh, at the shack grounded outside the shack and I have another little uh, coax balling uh, or choke balling inside the shack but since I've done all of that plus I also have one in between on my jumper with about two coils and a ferrite uh, bead on it and, uh, and I can tell like what my culprits are most of the time. I can pretty much tell you when the, my son's LED lights in his room's on. But I'm just going to go through uh, bands here. Amp one, just somebody. It used to not be this way until I did all that. Right, where'd you go? show just a little bit of the volume now I've got that run through an external speaker it's just a cheap Cobra that I got from Radio Shack uh, just a front face the audio Jank talking so I'm gonna just kind of go through the bands here that are most frequent and there ain't much going on on this one that one I don't know what that is, ain't no telling. But watch that meter. And I, I'm in, well here, I've got, I've got my width set. Yeah. So that way everything's off. Uh, no noise breaker, no contour, uh, nothing like that. I only got this move so the uh, reflection off of the screen isn't so bad. Seventeen. That seems to be my noisiest one. And uh, that one almost sounds like power line noise of some sort. But... Oh, ah, wait a second. <laughs> I'll be right back. Well, that took care of that. I forgot I had on my LED garage lights. Uh, so, just to show what you get from stuff like that. Uh, <laughs> that took care of that pretty quick. I wish Yesu on her update, on the mouse cursor, I wish that thing would disappear over time and then when you touch it, come back. Because if you touch the screen, that thing will be there. That, it'll stay there. It doesn't move. I like to see that thing disappear, so I don't have to quit. That way, I don't have to bring it down every time I do it and get it to the bottom. See, like it's gone now. I touch it. Now it's back, and it'll stay there no matter what. So if you uh, see this, JC, which I doubt you will, <laughs> please make that thing disappear. It drives me crazy. So clear though. In the world to me. Of course, he sounds a little uh, bit off. Oh, I'm off for you. That's 17. Ah, uh, oh, shoot. 
sometimes that thing holds for a while and sometimes it, I've already done the uh, update and it seems I don't know if I touch this when I'm coming out of this little spot here or what but sometimes it stays there for a while and then sometimes it just goes away see how quick that was it's like the update didn't it's, or it's doing the double press like that I'm not sure it, sometimes it doesn't sometimes it don't 20 though it's super quiet Still settings, so uh, when uh, when you switch to VHS, uh, there, uh, yeah, you need probably don't want to stay on that too much. Uh, oh, never mind. I'm thinking of seven dot two hundred. <laughs> Everybody knows about seven dot two hundred. I'm sure. Hopefully you can hear this good. Let's not clear that either. We uh, both have good antennas. Um, the background noise, you don't even hear. It. And like I say, I, ain't, I don't even have to use digital reduction much. Um, so or the not fit, that's one. Where you live. Oh, very nice, yeah. You know, your, your antenna and mine Let's are not both clear the same either. in which we don't use uh, traps. And uh, you know how inefficient that is. Uh, these uh, so, uh, my twenty. Let's go up forty. And these will change at night, of course. You know, just like the uh, LED lights that I had on in the garage. You know, you try to do this at night, and you got a bunch of stuff on in the house. You know, of course, this will change a little bit, but it never gets crazy unless, like I say, I know which lights uh, to check. My son has these uh, LED lights in their room that's really bad. It's like the little LED strips that go up the wall. Man, them things wreak havoc on 70 meters or on 40 meters, sorry. So, do they still call that group the long wire group? Well, it's kind of a hybrid group. There was two groups, uh, some of the long wires. Uh, I got an IPO off on 40, don't need it. Yeah, it's daytime, so I don't even know what this one is. But even during the daytime, with my garage door opener now, uh, and I've got it down. Let's, that's even with my garage door opener uh, plugged up. Uh, on the 7300, man, I would have, you know, all these spurs going all the way across. Uh, I'd have to unplug my garage door open. I don't have to do that on this one. So whatever it does on the front end, man, it really, really does a good job. Because you can ask Roger K4BFG, if I had that 7300 in here right now and I put it on 80 meters right now, uh, I'm telling you, with the garage door opener on or plugged up, man, it'd be all the way across, just pulsating all the way across. But, no, there's nothing on. I don't have any filter, like a none of my noise blank or DNR, none of that stuff. Let's go back to 20. That's a we have all that's the windows clear. And doors Super open clear. In the house and, um, okay, yo, uh, yep, speaking nice. of, the that's old Roger. KE4BFGs, KO4JJP. Yeah, I'm sitting here making a video. What are you doing, Roger? Hey, I did you see a V all made history of the noise of the ham shack, how quiet it was. Yeah, I did, and that's actually what I'm making right now. I'm going through all my bands showing how low my noise floor is and stuff on this thing. Okay, well, I'll let you be step on your video. I just want to say good morning. I hope you're having a good day. All right, I'll be done here in just a second. Uh, I'm just going to close it up here. I've been on here for a minute doing some stuff. and uh, I'll be back here in just a minute. KO4JJP. I'll take that noise from full scale down to S1. Full scale down to S1. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, 
See, that's what he's working on, too. K4BFG, he's got a channel, too. And, uh, he's been working on his noise on that 101. But, uh, but I'll get back to him there. I just wanted you to hear it. I'm going to cut this thing off. I'm at 10 minutes now on the video. So uh, just to show you what a little bit of uh, going out through there. And that's Henry. Uh, I'll get back to him in a second too. But uh, just wanted to show off my noise floor. I'm pretty proud of it. I got a, like I say, I got a, a RF choke coiled up at the end of the antenna or at the feet of the antenna. One in the shack and then grounded at the... Uh, base station right outside but uh no noise <laughs> almost all the way across all the time i love it i live in the country i ain't got no power lines real real close or some over uh you know probably about 100 yards away from it but uh they don't seem to affect me much but uh y'all have a good one uh, enjoy playing with this radio but uh talk to y'all later